What's up guys and welcome back to the Six Hour Guides YouTube channel and today we're going to be continuing on our Let's Play series of Detroit Become Human. You're going to be okay? We'll get some help here. As soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. This place is ridiculously creepy. I can't see this ending well either. First, we have to ring the doorbell and see who answers. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Come on in. Don't be shy. This place actually doesn't look too bad. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. I can't help but notice that this guy's hands are covered in blue blood, and that cannot be a good sign. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on, follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way, everything we need is in the basement. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Don't go down there, Carl, let's just leave. Do not trust this guy. He's got blue blood all over his hands. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. Well, that's good.
This way, please. I think we may have just found a possible escape route. If you could just stand over there. This makes no sense to me. Because of all the deviant androids we've come across so far, they've been missing for years, and if they had trackers, I'm sure they would have been found. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, but people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They'll come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up, I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet and so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. Find a way to escape. You can kick this. Mmm, that didn't do anything. Oh man, we're already at 38%. That is not good. What else can we do? We can kick this as well. We knocked over the light. I think that's the most significant thing so far. I think we've covered everything down below. Let's try up top. See if that does us any better. Ooh, yank out a cable? Sure. Let's do that.
Memory corruption repaired. Now we have to find Alice. Help us. What the fuck? So these are the experiments he was talking about. Those androids may look creepy, but they seem to be friendly towards us. So that means that Zlotko can change their bodies, but not their minds. Can't change the angle. So we left the door open. Is that going to come back and help us later? minutes okay that seems like more than enough we'll be out of here in three just don't get spotted Kara This guy's a snitch. You must always obey the master. What are you doing? You're making too much noise, bud. You're not gonna hurt me. Yeah, we're hurting you. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. Watch me. I think we got pretty lucky there. He could have screamed and really ruined our stealth approach here. Oh shit, Luther's standing right there. It's possible that he's a deviant as well, but he could also just be assuming that we've been reset and are kind of just wandering around cleaning the house. That's a little bit more far-fetched, so I'm gonna say that he's likely a deviant. Gone through a minute and a half so far. I said we're going to be out of here in three minutes. Hopefully I follow through on that. place to hide. Let's get out of this room. It's too close to the one where she was at before. What? The little one is gone. Get out of the way, Alice. Hmm, not through there. Just disappeared. Gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look. Shit, it's not loaded. Where are Nothing. 
trouble. Is he gone? I haven't heard a door close or anything. Let's give it a try. There you are. door for sure. always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. You are. Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. 